Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back, whichever applies to the jet experience. This will probably be one of my shorter videos, but I just could not pass up getting this information out. Uh, and I apologize about the quality of this clip here. I was in such a rush to get out, to get over here, I actually forgot my SD card for my camera. So as soon as I get back to the room, I'll switch over to uh, my normal camera. So right now I'm just stuck on my phone. Uh, but I am at Pizza Hut right now in Southern Alabama where I am right now. And uh, just a few days ago, uh, it came to my attention that they now have Beyond Sausage. Um, and while I have several videos of trying uh, vegan food, I am in fact ovalacto vegetarian, um, though I eat vegan or plant-based the majority of the time. Uh, but before I uh, stopped eating meat uh, about 16 years ago, sausage was definitely my uh, meat of choice, if you will, be it uh, for breakfast or or on pizza. Uh, so I just could not wait to try this. And I don't know how many people are aware of this. So I want to bring a video to you as quickly as possible. And so basically I'm, I'm at Pizza Hut right now. I'm taking advantage of the contactless delivery, if you will. Um, they're going to bring it out. I left notes to put it in the trunk. So I'm just waiting for that right now. But while we wait, uh, I did want to say that me and Ashley and I'm sure Declan, if uh, uh, you know, if he was a little bit older than five, we are extremely grateful for everybody that comes and watches the channel, especially our subscribers, new and and longtime subscribers. So what I would like to do is uh, I'd like to bring uh, like a, a Q and A, question and answer session for all the subscribers and viewers out there to get to know us a little better. So if you want, go ahead and in this video down below, uh, leave a comment with your questions. And if we get enough to be able to make a video out of it, uh, I will definitely film a video and answer every question. I'm gonna go ahead and kill this clip right now because uh, I, I don't know what the audio is gonna sound like from my phone. Uh, and then as soon as I get the uh, get back to the room, I'll make sure to fire up the camera and make sure to bring you along on this uh, exciting Beyond Meat experience. All right, I am back in the room. Got the camera all loaded up, SD card right where I left it in the computer from the last time I was pulling some uh, some videos and pictures off. But here is the pizza. So let me flip the camera around. We'll open it up and see what it looks like. Here is the box. It, it comes in a large right now. I had my choice of crust. So uh, being an East, East Coaster New Englander, uh, I am definitely partial to thin crust. So I got their thin and crispy. Uh, and I added mushrooms to it. Um, they had two options that you can buy. Um, the Beyond by itself or the Great Beyond, which is kind of like a, a veggie pizza with the Beyond. Uh, so I just got the Beyond and then added mushrooms. And let's get a first look at it. Oh, wow. That, that looks just like sausage. Let me see how close I can get to get it in focus. Oh, it's focusing pretty well. I definitely uh, eat a lot of Beyond Sausages right now. Um, I like all the flavors they have. It says this is the uh, like an Italian sausage one, so I don't know if it's... It's probably not just the actual uh, like Beyond Sausage links you can buy in the store. It's probably customized specifically for Pizza Hut. So I'm excited to get in to here. It's still piping hot and pizza tends to be a little better when you let it cool down a little bit. So I'll let it cool for a couple minutes and then uh, and then get into it. So once I found out that Pizza Hut uh, had the Beyond, um, I did a little, little research. I a quick Google one to make sure it was nationwide because I am in uh, lower Alabama right now. Not always the leading edge of having uh, plant-based options, but it is 100% from what I can find uh, nationwide, and I found it here, so uh, you can likely find it anywhere. And then the second reason was to see what uh, what else is going on in the world of plant-based. And I found an article from like two or three days ago from multi, uh, multiple uh, large media outlets talking about McDonald's is looking at a line, an entire line of products that they're calling the Mick Plant. Of course, they're playing off their their kind of thing with the uh, you know Mick whatever. Kind of a bit of a silly name. I'm sure their target audience is not the faith you know the most most faithful uh, plant-based or or vegan people. A lot of the restaurants like Pizza Hut that are doing this and having your your meat alternatives 
are more for people who are looking for a slightly easier way or, or a slightly healthier way to you know get uh, protein uh, sources other than animal products. That being said, I support any restaurant that's trying to uh, incorporate more plant-based products and the fact that McDonald's themselves are now looking at a line that tells you, that should tell you, that, that it's here to stay. Uh, McDonald's often does not uh, incorporate a lot of that stuff. They're one of the last ones, uh, major chains, to have any kind of plant-based item on their menu, like a veggie burger or something, but they wanted to make sure that they had the right thing for them. Pizza's almost ready to dive into, so I'm gonna go get the camera set up and, and we'll try this together. Okay, so uh, apologies for the lighting. Uh, it is a hotel room, so lighting isn't normally the best in here. Uh, so I've got my phone trying to give me a little bit of extra light. It's got some shadows behind me, but here is slice number one. Uh, I already know I'm probably going to make the huge mistake of eating half of this pizza tonight. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and dig in. Um, this one has several sausage pieces uh, on the end. A lot of it was in the middle of the pizza, uh, so I'm going to get it real quick. <laughs> Here it goes. Wow, that that is something. I already knew um, it was going to have your traditional kind of sausage-y flavors. Because um, you can, I can see the fennel seeds in the sausage. And for those who don't know, uh, fennel is a spice um, which is uh, uh, rather unique and, and gives uh, your Italian sausages a lot of the flavor that it gets. Um, you can buy a little jar of fennel seeds and nibble on one and you'll see that it, it's reminiscent of sausage a lot. Um, so that's one way that uh, veggie meats are able to kind of get that kind of sensation or flavor is by us using um, the same spices, so fennel for sausages. So now I'm going to grab um, just a piece of sausage off one. Let's get it up close, see if it'll focus. I don't think it's going to focus on, there we go. It's about the size of traditional sausage on pizza. It feels a little dry, but um, you know, a lot of veggie meats can do that. Um, if they're not consumed quickly is uh, that they can harden up and dry out a little bit. Let's try it by itself and see uh, how the flavors stand out. Uh, definitely if, if uh, again like I said it's probably not this, the ones you buy in the store but I can definitely um, taste your uh, the Italian sausage beyond sausages that you buy in the store in this. I don't think those have fennel. Don't quote me though. Uh, if you do know, uh, leave a comment below. But uh, I don't recall them having fennel in them. But it's got it's got a little bit of spice to it actually. Um, wasn't expecting that. It's it's not like like spicy spicy. I don't want to give the wrong impression. Just a little bit of a kick to it. Not not an overwhelming flavor. Um, not quite as sausagey. Uh, as sausage if you will but I, I can definitely taste that it's supposed to be sausage um, so let me try it again I'm trying to get a mushroom in this one yeah this is definitely uh, bringing me back you know 15 16 years to when I was uh, you know eating pizza with uh, uh, animal proteins on it definitely amazing I really hope they keep this around because uh, at some point if I do ever transition back to being fully plant-based I would definitely order a pizza how I used to order pizzas when I was when I was uh, pretty strict vegan is uh, I'll order just without the cheese with toppings on it. You got to be careful with those because the cheese binds a lot. So without it, it can get a little slippery and and the toppings can kind of fall off. I would not be opposed to to doing that with a pizza like this that had more than just vegetables. Get a little 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 plant-based protein on it just to add to those flavors. Well, I am going to go ahead and finish some of this up. But as always, really hope you liked this video. Um, if so, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Every subscriber counts and matters. If you ring the bell below, you'll get notifications of all of our future videos. As always, please be kind and be real and join us on our next experience. Hey!